In this video, we're going to look at how you will manage your team or your staff as they're referred to in Microsoft Bookings. So what's going to happen is, and we saw this in one of the other videos, where we created the bookings calendar and what happened automatically is anybody that had a, a license and that was set up as a licensed user um, had a mailbox, they would have been set up and added into your staff area, which we can see right here. So we're looking at the staff and we can see we've got four different people or staff members that have been added automatically. Now, that's going to happen. And then we've looked at services and we know that then those members of staff will then be allocated to the services, but you can remove them and have just specific people that are available to book for specific services. So we've already looked at that. Now, if we go ahead and we actually open one of these staff member records, I'm going to go ahead and look at Tom Simpson. So what's going to happen is based on their first name and last name or surname, it's gone ahead and pulled that in and it's used the initials from those two things. So we've got TS for Tom Simpson. Change it if needed. There really isn't any point. Um, we can also change the color for this person as well. So we can we can pick and, and select the colors. There doesn't seem to be a way to put the photograph. So if somebody actually has a photograph within Office 365, that doesn't seem to pull through. Um, but we are seeing the initials and, and that's all we've got at the moment. We then have the email address and we don't have a phone number that pulls through. So even if you've got your phone number, on the record in Office 365, it doesn't seem to pull through into the Microsoft Bookings area. So I can go ahead and add that in and put their phone number. And then we have three options. If I change it to administrator, we can see there it says administrators can edit all settings, add and remove staff and create, edit and delete bookings. A viewer can see all the bookings on the calendar. You can't modify or delete them and you have read access only to settings. And then finally, we have a guest. So guests can be assigned to bookings, but they can't open the booking mailbox. So if you have um, services you're offering where you've got third party vendors, you've got consultants that are not necessarily full time employees, um, or you have somebody that is available to book on specific days, but they actually maybe work somewhere else and they're just kind of filling in, then we can set them up as a guest. So I'm going to set make sure that Tom is set as a viewer. We can then have it set to notify the staff via email when a booking is assigned to them um, or if it's created, sorry, if it's assigned because it's been created or if it's been changed. So I'm going to leave that setting on. Then what we've got is the um, settings and the meeting hours for the staff members. So again, it depends on, on the services that you are providing and what somebody might have on their calendar as to whether you want to use this or not. But this, if we have this set to um, selected, then what will happen is this person will not be available to be booked into a meeting or an appointment if they've already got something on their own specific personal calendar. So we can have that turned on or turned off. And then also, do we want to use the business hours? So in the first video for this, what is Microsoft Bookings, where we talked about that, then the business information that we set up, we can say, right, well, we want to use those business hours that are pulling from the business information section right here. If not, we can turn that off and we can say, well, actually, for this person, maybe they only work part time. Maybe they don't work on a Wednesday and a Friday. So I can remove Wednesday and I can remove Friday and they are then classed as days off. And maybe they only work until three o'clock on a Thursday. So we can go ahead and we can change that and we can set that to three o'clock. There we go. So now Tom has a different set of um, hours that he is available compared to the standard business hours that we've set up for the business information. So then we can go ahead and we can save that. Now, what we can see, like I said, is, is all of the staff members that get added automatically, depending on what's in uh, the Microsoft 365 Admin Center at that moment in time. Now, what happens when we add in a new user so if I go back to, or so if I go into Microsoft 365 Admin Center, here we have a user that's been added after the booking calendar was created. So we can see there that we've got um, Lisa King 
that she has been added and she's not showing up as a staff member in bookings. So I'm going to go back to bookings and I can add staff. And what I can do is I can use the um, field where we've got add people. Or I could use the email and I can type in Lisa K. Um, it doesn't show anything, but if I click search directory, there we've got Lisa King. So I can select Lisa and she automatically will populate with the email address and we'll have this option to be able to link to her personal calendar, either turning that on or, or um, turning it off. Now, if I go back out of here and um, let's not save that and I add in a, another person. And let's go ahead and we don't have anyone and I put in uh, John at test dot com. Then notice that the, automatically it's been set as a guest and that is disabled. I can't change that. And also this box up here is also disabled so I cannot change that and that's because john at test.com is not found in the directory for my organization so yes I can add him but the only option is to add him as a guest so that's how we can go ahead and go back in time oh sorry we can go back and we can add in somebody that has been um, added into Microsoft 365 admin center as a user but added after our bookings calendar has been created so that's how you can go ahead and you can manage your staff or manage your team. Now, if we go ahead and look at the calendar, so we click on calendar, there we can see we've got the different staff members that have been added and that are linked to this specific booking calendar. Now, what we can do is we could add time off for somebody and I can go ahead and click on time off. And I could select and say, well, I'm just adding this for David at the moment. So maybe he has a, um, a day off um, and for some reason it's not on his calendar, but I know that he's going to be out. So I want to make sure nobody can book him in on a specific day. So actually, I know he's going to be off on Monday. Um, he's told me, but for some reason it's not on his calendar. So let's just make sure that that gets covered and, and we, we don't allow anyone to book him in. So I can go ahead and I can save that. Um, and if I then go to that specific day, there we've got, he's off, so he's away, so it's blocked off his specific availability. What I can also do is I can do time off and I could do time off for everybody. Um, so I could say, okay, well, this is gonna be Boxing Day, which for those of you that are not in the UK um, or uh, anywhere that celebrates Boxing Day, that is the day after Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put that in and that's going to be a holiday. Um, well, it's actually Saturday anyway, but never mind. Um, but if we were available on a Saturday, so I'm going to block that off and I'm going to block that off for everybody that is within that specific calendar that could potentially be booked. So I'm going to go ahead and I will save that. Um, and we're going to, oh, hang on, we haven't assigned anyone. So let's go back and add the staff. So I'm going to select everybody in the list and we'll go ahead and save that. Now that will be tied to all of the people we selected. And again, that means that anyone going to the calendar trying to book, if we did have services available on Saturday, then anyone that was trying to book, they wouldn't have any availability. There wouldn't be any options available to them. So that's how we can manage our staff and we can go ahead and put in time off for our staff. Um, so hopefully that helps and um, gets you on the way to start using Microsoft Bookings. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.